Hello and welcome to That's The Point, the show where we talk about construction, positioning, technology, and where all of those things intersect. My name is Corey Meyer, here with my buddy Jonathan Stickle. What's up, man? Doing well. Glad to be here. All right, so let's jump into it. So today we're going to talk about Trimble Connect and specifically getting started in Trimble Connect, um, creating and sharing projects. So really the first couple of steps yep. of your journey within Trimble Connect. So before we get started, the first question we always get asked is, you know, what is Trimble Connect? Mm -hmm. And the simple answer is, is this is Trimble's collaboration platform. So Trimble Connect is the easiest way to share, organize, um, and view really anywhere in the world um, files and assets that you have that you want to collaborate with people across projects or different mm -hmm. offices. Um, and it's a very simple way to do that. And it's yeah. really available all across any number of devices, right? So you can use it on your iOS device, your Android device, your desktop as we're going to use today, mm -hmm. um, and field link using the field tablets as well. So it's really a one-stop yeah. shop to get your files where you want them to be. So. Mm -hmm. As we get started though, everything in Connect is based on projects, right? And so we manage these things based on uh, projects which make sense in a construction environment. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna start with that fir very first step of creating a project and then sharing it mm -hmm. within Trimble Connect. Um, so let's start by getting signed in and getting going. So yep. Jonathan, Absolutely. you're driving. Sounds good. All right, so to get started, we're gonna visit connect.trimble.com. Um, once we're there, we're gonna go ahead and click on sign in at the top right. And if you need that link, it's right down there below. And then once you get brought to this page, you'll enter in your sign-in information. If you need to create a Trimble ID, click on this link and follow those prompts, then you can do that here. And, that, and the cool thing is, is that even if you don't have a Trimble Connect entitlement or you don't have a, a subscription already, you are able to create a free login or a free user. Um, and that gives you a single project capability, but it also gives you 10 gigabytes of storage data. Then also you get the five project collaborators, so you can invite five other people all through that free account. So if you're, yep. if you're unsure if Connect is right for you or if it's going to work in your business, it's awesome because you can just log in, sign up, and then you get a free one to try out. Yep, okay. absolutely. Sorry. So once you're logged in, you'll get brought to this dashboard page, and this will show all projects um, that you've created yourself or projects that have been shared with you. Um, but to create a new project, we're just going to click on new over here. We're going to enter in a name for our project. Here we are. We've created the project and we are now inside. This is a heck of a tutorial. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so once, um, once we've created the project, we're going to go ahead and add a folder. You can do that right here or um, clicking on the add button here. Same thing. We'll create a folder name. So you're going to create a folder now, and now the next step is obviously we can put assets, we can put files in there, and there's any number of file types. Like I think you're going to pick um, a file over here from your computer that you want to upload. Yes. Um, so you can just click. And yep. Click Add, upload the files, and then you can really just drag and drop the information in here. So we'll just drag this in here. It'll, it'll show it and one of the here. unique capabilities of Trimble Connect is how many options we have um, when it comes to file uploads, right? There's all kinds of different file types supported. There's more supported every quarter, it seems yep. like. Um, so it's really flexible as far as your design files, um, your line work files, your background files, your image files, like all that stuff supported. We actually have a link down below as well for the, for the complete list that you can get right there from Trimble Connect. Uh, but really, if you can use it on a project, there's a good chance that Trimble Connect can allow you to see it and view it right there natively within the environment. Mm -hmm. So once your, um, once your job is in the folder here, and if you want to share it, you just go down to team. It'll show me that I've created this project and now I want to invite someone else to it. So I'll go ahead and invite our help desk because they love to receive they all do. types they are, of They requests. love being a part of every project. So we encourage everyone to add them. And then, but that's really it. This is the entire collaboration step and then you just check, check user or admin. Yep. And you're good to go. Now we have a collaborator, they can see all the files and you have a complete collaboration platform set up. It's really that easy. And that's really all there is to get started with Trimble Connect. And of course, if you need additional assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to us or simply contact your local building point representative. In our next episode, we will be discussing um, how to seamlessly connect and share and round trip files between the office and the field um, using Trimble Connect um, and Trimble Field Link, which is, which is an awesome capability. Jonathan, thanks for sitting down today. Yeah, absolutely. It was fun. And whatever you do, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so that you're notified of the latest tips, tricks, and pointers um, that we post here at That's The Point. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.